here. Um, this sucks. You ever feel claustrophobic? Because I feel a little claustrophobic. Let's do this. Oh my god. Ow. I need to look at stars. Yeah. Stars are cool. I love space. Ah. Don't fall through the ceiling. Oh man, that sucks. Wow. Whew. No sweat. Got these towels and blankets and stuff. Ooh, I crushed that. Oh no. Oh, I goofed. Oh, you can see the dust in the. Oh no. I don't know if you can see me, but okay. So basically, what I'm meant to do. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna shove it down in that little like, two inch gap or whatever. But the reason I wanted a zip tie is so that I can keep this thing from coming out. I don't wanna uh, have it disconnect on me after I've already done all that. All right, so basically this is plugged in to this extender. I'll plug the camera into here, but I gotta do that out there. I'll put this part in here. Power on this thing. And I'll just send it down. I dropped my phone down here, it's over. That is terrible. And look, the little thing that I used last time, a coat hanger. Oh, I've got insulation on my face. All right, here we are from the other side. And there is my little light. with my roof. This is what the camera looks like after about six months. Of course it's all covered in pollen right now. Probably should clean that. I basically just used um, like roofing tar to secure this thing down and it's working honestly perfect so. Of course you know the UV is just damaging the acrylic dome. Um, I probably should have cleaned this thing before I brought it up. You can kind of see how uh, the lens is starting to get a little bit of UV damage. Uh, the camera itself is like kind of turning orange, um, but that's all to be expected, of course. But yeah, this thing, I'm not even gonna open it just because it's been perfect so far. But this connection's good. Can't really complain. Going around that side, everything's still looking good. Move to the top. Yeah. So let's just see if this new cable works. I really hope it does, because uh, I don't want to do all that again. And then hopefully we can start looking at the sky again. So I added this little pipe that has two holes in it and like two corner pieces, and it just lets ambient air just kind of flow into the box with something that's a little bit more thermally conductive than the plastic. So basically the idea is that I just add some chain and some metal and stuff in there and the ambient air will flow through that pipe and actually cool down the camera. I also added some reflective tape just to kind of help with reflecting some of the heat from the roof away from the box. Unfortunately, the raising temperature due to just the, you know, progression towards the summer necessitated changing the dome because it was just getting damaged and sun bleached. And I think there was actually some like grease or something gassing off inside there and coating the inside. 
Now luckily I had a little spare IR dimmer that has a little remote control so I can just kind of point it up at the dome and I can actually control how much heat the dew heater straps are producing. So I also decided that I would replace the little DIY fan thing I made with an actual TDC cooler. Unfortunately, there isn't enough airflow through there in order to like actually cool everything down inside. So right now I have the TDC disabled because at this point it's just heating up the box more. And I actually made these little 3D printed vents that stop water hopefully from getting inside, but let the air come back out. Finally, the last piece of the puzzle was putting on a brand new dome, and I learned my lesson from the start, because uh, I put that on first when I first made this, and it was definitely scratched up before it even made it to the roof, so this time, fresh brand new dome, last couple months, should turn out pretty good. So yeah, I only got a couple months to go until we hit November 1st, and that is the day that I first started to be able to reliably record the sky. So yeah, just a couple months left now. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed what I've been doing with the camera. Um, got a whole bunch of things planned. And you know, it's been a lot of fun so far, creating a one year long time lapse, but uh, you know, it's really made me wonder what I'm gonna do once it's over, because I could just as easily go for as many more years as I have the sanity for, or anything like that, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying what I've been doing with the camera, um, I've only got four months left now before the end of the year-long time lapse, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet with that, I mean, you know, I've been doing this for a year now, almost, so I don't know what I'm gonna do when it's over, I think I might try and widen the field of view or change the way that it's looking or I, I don't know I've got I've got a bunch of ideas but if you guys have anything that you want to share definitely let me know because uh you know I only got three months four months left to prepare for it so I'm running out of time hope you guys liked it bye-bye